Well, that's just a tiny little thing. The sun's not that big after all. Look at it. It's just tiny. Yeah, the ducks think that's funny too. Okay, I better watch out or I'll burn the element out. Uh oh, Nibiru's back. Look, it's going crazy around the sun. Uh, even in front of the mountain. Oh, and that means it's pretty small, actually. Nibiru. Not Nibiru. As we said, the Nibiru is like the Aurora Borealis, you know, Northern Lights, or Aurora Australis. Only it's the Ouroboros Borealis, or something like that. Oh, 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 oh there it goes. Oh. Thanks, Doc. So what will we be, Wednesday? Um, February 19th. Lots and lots of solar, solar stormy up there. Could be a good little stretch to come yet. Filaments all over the place. It's like the sun is covered in webs. Not unlike the webs on Earth. Like the internet. The electronic grids, the gas grids. The electric grids. Radio corridors, microwave corridors, television and radio corridors. Webs with him, webs with him, webs. Okay, I'm hoping to catch everyone coming home. You know, they like to use the nice warm thermals in this cool weather. Eh? Save someone flapping the wings. That is so freaking exhausting. As best I can remember. Bear with me, we might get it. It's a shame this place wasn't so radioactive. Many people could enjoy it, but the animals enjoy it, and actually, they don't, and they shouldn't be here either, but. Can't stop them, it's a wildlife preserve. Even though it's private land. They shouldn't be here because only soul death is where you nuke your genes or split them off with bad chemicals and shit. Doesn't matter if the chemicals were synthetic out of a laboratory or from GMO or Hey guys, wanna do a freebie? No, no fucking way, get that fucking camera off me, I'm gonna put my wet nose all over it. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm taking it off, I'm taking it off. Okay. We're waiting for the ducks to come home. Ducks are jealous. Don't pinch my nose, guys. And don't get your noses all over my new bifocals. I'm just finally, finally, finally getting where I can use them without holy fuck going on in my eyes. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. You okay, Cindy Bag? Okay, careful. Oh, 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 careful. Careful, don't don't hit your head. Okay, careful. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Sorry, get... Ah, there you go. Hey, uh, no, here, don't. Okay, phew, that was a terrible thing, eh? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah. No, bear, bear, back off, back off. Don't want to choke him. 
Oh, so hoping to save poor kid. Okay, hang on. See the leash is caught around the rock, rock there. <sighs> She's doing her dog rolling and loving the earth and <sighs> started to roll downhill. Oh no, oh no, what the hell? <laughs> hey, oh, that was terrible. I'm sure you would have figured it out. That's the danger about leashes, guys. <sighs> Dogs hurting themselves on them. Okay, wait, wait, no, we lost my glasses. Oh, let's not break them bifocals I was just getting used to using, kid. Okay, careful, careful. <sighs> okay, now we gotta find the glasses. Without stepping on them. Yeah, well, these things happen. Well, I guess that's what I get for trying to cop a free shoot, eh? A free photon capture. Okay, let's not step on. Oh, there they are. Eh, uh, yeah, a little bit of trouble. Oh, this puppy's okay. <sighs> Can't see. <clears throat> you don't seem to have lost the screw. See, I'm just using it like magnifying glass. Yeah, they're kind of like reverse bifocals, so I can see this tiny little crap in fucking viewfinder. And this otherwise not too bad camera. All right, we better just carefully put that away and, and get the backup glasses and the magnifying glass, and the screwdriver and whatnot before we fuck with it. Wow, well, that was the first. A little bit of comfortable use of the bifocals I had for the cl super close-up shit. <sighs> ain't that, ain't that just typical? And this we all know about plastic. <sighs> you better wrap it up, or just the vibration of walking will scratch it. pair of plastic lenses. Even got them specially hardened, safety hardened, so I could wear them while wrenching. <clears throat> I'm doing very light duty, low pressure stuff. Not like chiseling or anything. Um, where there's just a didn't didn't even get used to them, and then. But I had them in their case, in my pocket, running a street sweeper for just a, just a couple of shifts and scratched the piss out of the lenses. No dust, just vibrating back and forth in the soft padded plastic glass container. Yeah, so there's a tip. They scratch easy. Considerably lighter though. I don't know if they're safer or not. Yeah, I see they're having trouble with uh, some of their laser surgeries now are starting to show up problems. So if you want to get your eyes lased for corrective lenses when you don't have to, you know, it's something for cataracts and you got no choice, but we're draining for glaucoma. But to just get it done so you don't have to bother with fucking glasses. Ah, fuck, I hate glasses. <clears throat> but I love seeing. I, I, I would think twice, especially if you're, you know, young and got to use them eyes for a long time. 
Sorry, that's just the tease. You'll have to search it out yourself. I haven't got enough details to share while we're waiting for the flock to come home. Should be any time, as you can see. Oh, we're in shade here, right? This whole amphitheater. That's all the part that's still caught in the sun. When this was melting back from glacial times, this would have been the last of the ice to melt away. Hence, big sand moraine that never consequently got removed with water like everything in the in the lake bed bottom did. Oh, oh I think that's the come on call. Well, I may never get to see what I saw a few days, what we saw on uh, when Sunday, yeah. Sunday afternoon we were out here. <laughs> yeah, that was remarkable. I had the camera, but... Maybe I didn't. <sighs> but it was... I mean, I've seen big, huge flocks before, but not of this kind of ducks. The swapping of long protein strand ceremony. Well, maybe the others continued on. Just Stopped for a quick swapping of the jeans and okay, we'll see. I'm going up to Athabasca. <laughs> Thanks for fertilizing my eggs. No, actually, ducks are pretty well monogamous through the roost. I don't know if they. Some of them probably come back year after year to the same mates. But I'm no expert on on docks. I've had so little opportunity to observe them. In spite of having this gem in my backyard for seven years. Which I barely came out here until three years ago, four years ago. Not enough of me left after a hard day's work. <sighs> That's before I died. Well guys, you want to give up? <laughs> yeah, I think it was a fucking fly. I think they're all gone. Took their flock on. I don't know if they, they if they leave grooms or if they leave brides or if they leave both when they mix mash their flocks. Again, it would be a really interesting study, not just on your triuranium octioxide. Which is a major thing in the South Okanagan. But following the uh, mut mutations would not only tell you a lot about that, but about genetics too. That you only get in other places where there's lots of dried up uranium lakes. You know, like Gabon and in, in, in uh, West Africa there where they actually had natural uranium uh, reactors. They were actually able to have critical fusion and heating 
under regular conditions when when all the water dried up and then it could start reacting pardon me water in and it would react and then the water would dry off and drought would happen and it would stop reacting of course not like like Fukushima or Chernobyl reactors or Three Mile Island but subcritical which is the same thing that heats a lot of our earth you have a lot of uranium reactors down there below 10 12 kilometers closer in some places like Yellowstone and well if you don't include water the you know the Atlantic and Pacific trenches and Timbora and New Zealand and Japan Trench. <laughs> and of course it's always kept in my energies like a potato in a microwave oven. Hang on guys. Cindy. Come on, we gotta put this back on, monkey. Well, that was quite disturbing, I'll tell you. <sighs> Sliding down the hill like that. Hey, 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 kid. Hey. Okay, I guess we're giving up on catching. I, I think that was just a, 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 a once a spring thing or something. See, some of these ducks are residential and some are my. There's lots of this. Which again, getting back to the uranium story and why there's, you know, there's so many in the Okanagan. Like this, basically, you know, lake bottoms. And uh, not all of them quite like this. This one had spring action that brought a lot of it up, a lot of the uranium oxides up. Thermal springs from much of what I just described, thermal reactions going, nuclear reactions going on below, if you found, or high up. This whole string was actually from all the way down Yellowstone and all the way up to Alaska. It was actually the breakup of a, a fresh, rather relatively young bolide. from a supernova. <clears throat> very, very fresh uranium. 